title for a long time. He's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet for a long time, though. The title fight eluded him, not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, some differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight championship the world it's fighting out of the blue corner this man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight he stands five feet six inches tall weighing in at 154 pounds fighting out of las vegas nevada presenting the challenger boom boom and now introducing the champion fighting out of the red corner this man is a grappler holding professional record now 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plan seemed pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. The right hand just misses. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. 
Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, nice right And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just out of range with that right hook. Ooh, head kick lands. A couple of chins here being tested early. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Landed a big kick there. Oh, straight right. Another clinch position. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. All 25 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? That was a thudding leg kick. Right hand upstairs. by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, you see. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early, and he lands often. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Under two minutes to go. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nurmagomedov. Trying the flying knee there. Big punch land. Ooh. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Got the single all the time. And they separate. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Nice. Nice leg kick land. Oh, and he caught the kick. That's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, that's a nice strike. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, nice. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Five oh minutes God. in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Sit down. You lost that one. All right? You lost it. And we're going to take this next one back. All right. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, so he's landing some good shots. You hate to be overly critical.
level, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab is going to be great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. And he caught the kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Back and forth we go. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. There's no tell on that leg kick. What a punch. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Nurmagomedov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Nice kick. It's such a fast leg kick. Tags him with the uppercut. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Head kick. Nice strike. Oh, a huge block there. And he landed the right hand there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so though. All right, so the unofficial fight numbers thus far, 80 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And landing with just 39% accuracy tonight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Ooh, what a punch. Nice job of hiding that head kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. right into the kick there, a kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Nice punch, man. Oh, nice check off the leg kick off right there. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Big shot lands. Look at the force behind that leg kick. 15 seconds. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high. Got him hurt very badly. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head, 
Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Okay. You okay? All right. You can do this. That was not big of a shot. You can take that. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level mixed martial arts. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big kick lands. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do it. Oh, huge blocks. Right punches there. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. That was lightning fast, that right hand. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Straight punch land. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this one. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Three minutes to go. Pretty good right hand. All right, so a good job defensively. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight riff. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way, and in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, seven seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by knockout and still. So nearly 30 men have tried, and as yet, no one has solved the puzzle that is the Dagestani Khabib Nurmagomedov proving to be, if not the best, one of the best lightweights in the world. And again, when the striking starts to catch up with the wrestling, this is a guy who is going to be even more dominant than he already is now, the Eagle Khabib Nurmagomedov.